There are 120,000 gang members in LA County. Guns, the drugs, the money. I, I seen that style and I liked it a lot, you know? They're the confronting and intimidating faces of LA's gang culture. I would just take the money and laugh. But after years in prison... I would just get out of jail and just um, run off to the streets and do what I wanted. These former criminals are looking for a fresh start, getting rid of their tattoos and getting jobs instead, joining a program set up by priest Greg Boyle, who after presiding over hundreds of gangster funerals, started Homeboy Industries to break the cycle. I was out there like robbing people, breaking into cars, you know, trying to, trying to hustle, you know what I mean? It was after a long stint in jail for attempted murder that Fernando decided to reform his ways and has now been given a job in Homeboy's latest venture, an electronics recycling factory. Everything happens for a reason and, and that's why I'm here now, to change. Homeboy's has always had a cafe and bakery and the recycling business is now also booming with local support. One of the biggest obstacles to gang members trying to turn over a new leaf is their tattoos, particularly ones on the neck and face. They say all too often potential employers keep turning them away and it's virtually impossible to find a decent job. So many former crims are coming here to solve the problem. Former gang member Miguel Maldonado is out of prison and using Homeboy's free tattoo removal service. It feels great because <laughs> you're getting your, your mistakes removed, you know. With the ink and bad attitude gone, Greg hopes society will see these men and women as role models who can show everyone that people can truly change. Now they know the courage has nothing to do with having a gun. In Los Angeles, Tim Avia, 9 News.